Hello everybody, welcome to a live game here. Uh, apologies in advance. <laughs> we have Coach Keith, uh, second round of CCL Season 54, the money season, thanks to DLA Piper. We've got Coach Keith with Nurgle, who has just taken a tentacles on his warrior, very nice. Um, really nice warriors, really nice Nurgle team actually, you know, he's got guard on all the warriors. He's got two tackle pommers, uh, full claw pommers with tackle, absolutely glorious. He's got a ball carrier, which for some reason is on the LOS, <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> oh, he's an edge too, but he's got extra arms. But it's still really weird to put him in the LOS. I'm not, I'm not sure. I guess he's got strength four, so he's just trying to deny the LOS. Yeah, completely. Okay, I get it now, but it does seem a bit excessive, doesn't it, putting him on the LOS? Um, and then we've got augmented beard with high elves, and uh, you know, one day we'll be able to look at his team. <laughs> um, no inducements. Oh no, a babe, a babe for the Nurgle. Wow. So. Okay, strength up, blitzer. Can't really see the skills because it, it all goes weird. So in the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello. Hello. Mm, loads of guard, actually. Four guard at a glance. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is really good. And a Daka yeah, here. And, and the, the quick snap is absolutely glorious for him. Uh, yep. That is the dream kickoff event. Yep. 15 players as well, so he can afford for his dross to get cast out. Yeah. He won't really mind about that, but he needs to keep his few good players, which are, funnily enough, the guarders that have to get in contact um, and be exposed to do anything good. So four of his good players have to be in contact. I guess the catchers are still fast, right? So I guess the catchers yeah. don't have to be exposed to, to, I mean, to do well. The the two two catchers both have caught. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, what I mean is they're still catchers, right? So they can still yeah, yeah, yeah. they can still do good things without exposing themselves. Like they're they're not just guard people, yeah. whereas the other two are just guarders. Um, like the rest of us who can't do anything without exposing ourselves. <laughs> hey, <Way. laughs> And uh, yeah, the the strength four is pretty nice. But yeah, that's a good point. That's a lot of TV on the bench, isn't it? That's a rookie catcher as well. So it's 300 TV on the bench, isn't it? Yeah. That's a yeah, lot of the, TV on the bench. And the Nurgle only has the one bench. Yeah. And Which, so, like, for Nurgle, like, one bench is kind of... Light? Bare minimum, yeah, right? it is light, it uh, is light. Like they have half their team is... More than half their team is uh, AV8, so they're, they're very prone to getting banned out a little bit themselves. And then you want to foul with your waters that you have DP on all of them. Indeed, so he's got 60 off the bench, he's got 300 off the bench, so there's 240 difference there. And he's got a babe, right? So it's actually 190 more TV on the pitch for the uh, for the Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> And they've got the inducement. That's pretty weird, isn't it? Um, not every day you see that. But like on the other hand, I, I think it's a bit called for here. Um, I I probably wouldn't have liked the rookie catcher uh, as a to beard, but you might have bought that before. Uh, yeah, I could. It is interesting because like if you drop the, both of them. Then if you drop the line on the thing, that's 160, but you're still only getting 110 then, aren't you? And you don't know if, if Coach Keith put in his own money to get that, that yeah. babe or whatever. Like, yeah, But yeah. You, you'd you like to get a wizard, right? You'd rather you'd rather have 13 and a wizard than 15, Like if you if that was the choice. That's definitely what you'd take. But then... Um, yeah, that's fair. But, you know, if, you, if you're not going to... If you can't get any... I mean, you don't want to drop three to get a wizard, do you? No. You know, that would really be... Yeah. Then you're like, now you got to go first. Like, imagine it's the other way around, and then he's down four players off the other west, and he's like, yeah, all right, all the tags for taking the tag for this. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see a DACA, though, isn't it? That's yeah, that's good. Always enjoy seeing a DACA. We have not leaped, no, because uh, did the other one. The, the one that was played before that, um, and then this one is live now. Exactly, Team Man Taylor, right? And and obviously, there's more chalice equity in having more players, right? There's a good chance you like you lose two or three players in this match. So then, if you don't sack anybody, at least if you win, you've got twelve or thirteen for your next match as well. 
you know, and stuff like that for the rest of the tournament. So there's certainly the chalice equity argument is in favour of having 15 players. Really nice to have it. Like, it really is It is really nice to have loads of players for, for elves, to be fair. Yeah, especially in this matchup. Yeah. While you can. It's like, yeah, because, like, the, the, the way that you lose this match is getting banged out. And not having a wizard. <laughs> um. Like, you know, like, to be fair, like, a wizard is, is a really good way to win, isn't it? So. It is. But, like,. He's got a Bolsonar without Sherfy Sprints. That's pretty cool. tackle. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty shit. It's just like a just like a Saurus with a with shoe hands, basically. <laughs> he's basically got a shoe hand Saurus. Uh, he's got he's got uh, just, no wait never mind. I don't know. It's it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Team Man Taylor and Hello Randy Tunnel. Indeed, Pedro, I, I love it. I, I literally just. I, Dak is my favourite, my favourite strike in football. Genuinely. <laughs> it's just like. Well, offensive Dakar. The defensive Dakar is. You know, a lot more lame, right? It's boring. Even though I've used it a lot myself. I've used it extensively myself. Uh, on Fumble, not so much on Blue Bowl, too, funnily enough, because I've never really had, like, a monster team that much. And then when I did, I should have done it for... Oh, well, I did it versus Sage one time, and and then I didn't want to do it the second time. And then the second time I played him, I got my whole team killed. So if I had defensive Dakard, I'd have been all right. So there you go. Lesson learned, always defensive Dakard. Um, they were actually playing Blood Bowl. Oh, yeah, that's the best. That's the best tip. Not going wide here. That's interesting. I don't know why this guy's here. Super interesting. Yeah, now you're just inviting a way around here. Mm. He's going forward. So we've got asymmetric pressure. Yeah, I, I now I just desperately want public to be through this. <laughs> Fighting goblin flu. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, I'm serious, but I, I don't know how long I can sit up right for. I'm, I'm starting to crumble. Uh, yeah, I could hear, I could hear it in your voice a bit. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, obviously no, no problem. Just, just when you want to go, go. <laughs> yeah. Goblin flu. I'm not sure about this anti dacker defense. I'd rather have the tentacles on the wings. Yeah. Like having both of like his tentacles are overlapping even, right? They're not even both in the no. center. Like you could have one there and one there or whatever. So they've either exactly. got to go through there or through there. But now they're actually overlapping. I mean, that's that's like letting your bulls touch, isn't it? With chaffs, basically. <laughs> to let your balls touch. <laughs> Almost. Almost. And he has to he has to back up this this beast, right? Because he can just simply uphill the beast. And uh, and then there's a gaping hole and he's not covering it at the moment. Oh, this is terrible. I used to uphill the beast here. All day. Yeah. Does it even have stand for him, the beast? No. <laughs> well it's just free pass or something. Well, in fact, you don't even need to do that. You can, uh, you can actually blitz this guy, right? You can blitz this guy forward. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, oh, no, it's not, that, it's not that easy, actually, because if you put in... Oh, no, you've got strength four, so you can put in the guard here and then blitz him. Yeah, guard here and blitz the strength four is the best. You can need a power on either one, to be fair, whether you uphill the beast or whether you one, whether you 2D him, but yeah. 2 d him, you do need a power him, but he's through if you do it, and that's what he's doing. Doesn't need the power though. Oh, he foul appearances. Ah. I would have probably not rerolled the foul appearance and just run away. That's the, the problem is then, you know, because like you're rerolling it just for the 55. Well, yeah, the 55, is it? Yeah, 55. Yeah. I mean, it is good to be through completely if you do it. I mean, yeah, he's not going to get a better shot at it. Like, um, 
you'd imagine. Uh, oh, I think he might. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was. He's I mean, good. he's got so much guard, right? He's got so much guard, yeah. and he's got a strength four that it's. And by, hmm, I'm not sure Wait, it's like, right to go you, on you, side. You, when when you play this game, like even if you, even if you realize that, all right, if someone makes this kind of mistake, turn, <clears throat> turn two. Then uh, I'll probably get good shots after. You can't count on it, right? You okay. have to go all in for it. Uh, and if he gets the power there, uh, which is 55%, then um, then he's spawned. Mm -hmm. Well, all but. It's a little foul in there. And it's still oh. kind of a long way to go, right? Get, you could have got the power there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really? Like the ball there. It's like that. Oh. You would just get to here. Like it would, it would be, it would be a little bit shaky, honestly, with this tackler back there as well, and this guy. It, it would have been a little bit shaky. Um, you were saying, Pedro? <laughs> yeah, no, he's not going. He wasn't going to leave him there, was he? But he can still get club on, can't he? One, two, three, four. No, no, five, six. Du he could double GFI him to hit him, but I don't know how well, to get an assist. You'd have to one, two, three, four. You'd have to quad GFI to two D him. <laughs> So, it was just enough protection. I would have still had the wrestler on this side, by the way, to foul, just to make sure I had my strength four protected. <laughs> Not that he is going to quad yeah, GFI. Maybe, maybe he couldn't uh, get further without a GFI after having gone uh, to do the blitz. No, yeah, but the, the wrestler who fouled, right, could have just been on the other side because he moved him last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would have had him there. Just... I mean, it does protect the order a little bit as well, which is uh, mm. I guess on uh, on a uh, failure to break off a race on the side of you that you don't want to like you can take them out. I want to be able to switch back though, right? I want to be able to switch back if he overcommits and stuff. So I would, I, I would rather have, I would just rather have him here anyway. The, uh, the rest of TPH. I would just literally yeah. rather have him there. Yeah. He's uh, um, Logster throwing our uh, underwhelming. Mm. And look, if he was there, you could now wrestle two dice this lad <laughs> with a block just quietly. Yeah. yeah. That was my point as well, like it does protect the card piece. Yeah. Mm. So, I agree. Yep. On the beast maybe? But then he wanted a three dice with the beast, but he doesn't have guard, does he? He does have guard. Probably should have three D'd with the beast first, but I guess now he just doesn't activate the beast. Or he, oh, he three Ds this guarder. Yeah, he, he's got two guards. We can three D the guarder now and get them on all three. That's actually really nice, isn't it? Oh, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this guy is the weak link here, isn't he? Now you can just put in a guard and uh, strength four whips through. Except you're on tentacles, but you just you just fuck that. You know, you just you just roll the roll the tentacles, get him off, and then two D him through here. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and you get what about four players through with him? Good enough. Yeah, I like it. In fact, you could even hit this Nurgle warrior, right? Um, there's no assists here, and you've got two, so you could hit him and try and power him first. So you don't even need to try and make the dodge roll. And the dodge roll, the tentacles roll. It's block, uh, block plus block, but yeah, yeah. It's, be it's better than failing the tents, though, isn't it? That's yeah, 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 it is. Oh, so he's put him there because for the better push down. Oh, but you couldn't because... Uh... 
Oh, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The push was a bit rubbish if you Other pushed him and he didn't stand firm. So he brings him in. No, he, 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 he had to do it with the block player because uh, that guy got powered by the beast. Oh, all right, that player got powered by the beast, so he had to do it with the block player. Yep. <laughs> well done, Daedal. Oh, he could have really re rolled there. He could have re rolled there. Mm. Or yeah, you're down to two rerolls, but now this time you're. Uh... Or he could have one deed first, right? He could have put the guard in here and one deed him first, so that yeah. then on the push he still cleared it, so he gets the or, strength. Or put the, both guards in on the other side. Oh no no yeah yeah yeah. yeah. yeah put both guards in on the other side for it to be on the water. Mm. Like this guard that uh, he used. But then you don't get the like then then. Oh, yeah, then you what? Okay. Then you blitz the. Oh, then you could have blitzed him, and surfed him. That would have been. Oh, you could good, even done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been good. Guard, guard, block, surf. That would have been really nice. Actually, that's probably the best play. Mm, that was probably the best play there. Yeah, we'll surf the warrior. Yeah, cheer gun. Even sick. I realize. Uh, realize how good I am. <laughs> sick. I'm better than. Great player, and not meant to be here. <laughs> the, the beast being skillless, right? He could be guard stand firm. If this beast was guard stand firm, he'd be like a million times better. But it's what it is. But yeah, he got through anywhere. Like I wanted to hit this guy because he's mobile and he's 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 got tackle, right? But um, yeah, actually, guards. Well, one guard. In, yeah, they need both guards. So you need both guards in here. Two D. Yeah. And then surfing, yeah, that was it was actually really good surfing warrior to be fair. But then there is foul appearance, but yeah, the payoff is pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it's foul appearance, but also like bushes are enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't mind not re-rolling or re-rolling. Like I didn't mind either. There was there was multiple ways you could get through there, wasn't there? At the end of the day, but I do think the best was surfing the line. Pun reflection. Sorry about the burping. No problem. But if he was going to do the one D there, then I think you do the one D first, right? So that the strength four can get through on the push. So I would have not. Rather than having the one the one D as a fallback, I would have made the one D the primary or a two D in Surf Warrior, which I might have seen then. <laughs> Who knows? I might be playing better if it wasn't five AM. <laughs> <laughs> it's not five AM down though, is it Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I it honestly it's six AM now. I, I was I was <laughs> exaggerating a little bit. Oh, KO is great result for the elves. Yeah. It's gone great for them so far in this game. Right? Ooh. I'd have I would have gone here rather than here. I don't know why, but I would have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I think with the down the rotter, I think this is actually a better square. Uh, just you instinctively want to go in the in the other square because like that way you hold the sideline. Yeah, well what this does is this this protects this guy, right? If he was here yeah. if he was here then this the beast for example could get onto uh three exactly, players. Exactly, exactly. But normally cool. normally you want to go in the other square uh, to hold the sideline. Get a cookie. Yeah, exactly, Team and Taylor. Look, Team and Taylor got it. But now the beast can go one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, GFI on both of these. But I would have just gone there, like, without thinking. Because that would have been, like, that's a good example of the, um, the autopilot kind of mistake, right? Yeah. Just boom there, and then you're like, oh, this would have been a better square as soon as you've done it. <laughs> not bad, thanks. Not well, I'm not bad. <laughs> Daedal's fucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, 
<laughs> I wasn't dying for a bit, but I'm back to dying now. Diced. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly. Mm. Yeah, I guess yeah, you just want him. You want him as deep as possible. Yeah, I think that's fair. Like it'd be nice to have something here, right? It'd be nice to have like the beast here, and like somebody here holding this space. Because it is, it's too easy to just like run through here, and like yeah. through here, right? Blitz the, you can blitz the, you can blitz the beast like instantly, right? Instantly blitz the beast, and then just get everyone up over through it. So like this is pretty terrible not having somebody here. Somebody you wanted somebody here or here. 100% because yep, that's exactly what he's doing instantly. Instant blitz the blitz beast. I would have blitzed him from here though and then gone over the middle. And blitzed him from there. Oh, yeah. Squares. He's got two squares. I guess it's on a, on a push he wants to free anyway. Yeah, right? yeah, true, true, true. But I could have surfed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not greedy at all, Jim. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Um, so yeah, now it's pretty cool. is he getting here? He's just gonna, he's just gonna, uh, pew, uh, pew, uh, pew, uh. Uh. Oh, no, he's not. He could have just, like, he could have just caged in there, right? He could have caged in here, but... I, I hate caging. Caging is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is good enough because he's edge two, right? So it would be a five plus. 5 2 2 to 2 D, but uh, you've probably got to do it. Like, you have to do it, in fact. So, oh, this guy. This guy has to put go here. Or even out in front. Uh, that, even GFI. Uh, that, that square seems pretty good. You might have to GFI. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like the GFI. I know nobody hates GFIs more than you, Dirtle, but I really, I really like just stopping the, uh, stopping the two deal. <laughs> yeah. Inexcusable. <laughs> he could have gone there, right? Oh, he hasn't got, ta he hasn't got dodge anywhere. Oh, the sick three-two, love it. I love this kind of shit that you do at the end of elf turns when everything's gone right and you just get to do stupid yeah. like threes and twos that, that you don't yeah. even care if they fail. Yeah. It's just your bonus to get it up. Also makes you get it up. <laughs> so you can you can hit him with mighty blow, he can't really pile on, can he? He can stand in front of this one, he can GFI to touch the ball, but it's it's pretty grim. <laughs> indeed, Nolly, indeed. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's absolutely disgusting. It's like the best feeling because you're like, I don't care if I feel if I don't care if I yeah. fail this, and then you like just make like about five <laughs> twos yeah, and threes you gotta, you and like crush their spirit. That's <laughs> what it's about. Yeah. <gasps> Amazing. It's even better when you do it with rats with the four threes. <laughs> oh my god, fucking rats and just I played rats on fumble yesterday and they just didn't fail three plus at all. At all on their drive. They just didn't fail a single three plus. It was horrific. And then I made a GFI and then rolled a one. I was like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> It's the it's the most disgusting thing when you play against Necro as well, uh, like and they just make endless three pluses with their fucking wolves and wolves. <laughs> and like, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? You know that they can fail, right? They aren't <laughs> automatic. Classic Necro dodges. Yeah. I I really have Nolly as people can attest to. I really like putting the uh, this guy on here first. Maybe he's gonna GFI him. Make a whole lot of sense to GFI. I mean, I'll just put him there. Pylon? Can't really afford a position, can you? Oh, oh. 
and if he like he still has a an upside chance of doing something in order to stop this through. Yeah. Yeah, he could have moved there first, right? He could have already moved there. I think he just goes like one, two, three, four, maybe he's in here. Or I guess you could GFI there, but it's not it's not too much better and like you don't want to re-roll it. Yeah, do these two GFIs first. Oh, I don't like that. No, no, I, I want him in here. No, you, you have to. You have to be on the ball, like, uh, box him in. Yeah. Like, I know it's easy to break him out again, but you have to. Yeah, I really want to double G. Of course, the blitz. Because now he can blitz uh, forward, um, otherwise he had to blitz backwards. Yeah. He doesn't so even just... have to blitz. He doesn't even have to blitz now. <laughs> <laughs> he can blitz the claw on with a strength four. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. Yep. Yep, I like that instant from Augmented Beard. Like, he just didn't need to blitz anybody with, with the position. Like, that was really yeah. not great. Or, you know, the worst play ever if you're Artemis. But yeah, he, yeah, he just had to get that guy in. He had to. It's way too easy. Is he easy. going for a foul again? I mean, he could do. I guess he's got that much, right? He can, yeah, he can dodge him first to screen. Uh, straight four on the ball on like that. You assume that's forty-two. Yeah. Because like these two probably screen enough, right? Just dodging that, dodging the dodge guy out. Okay. Oh wow. But he's punching the offense. But he hasn't got another assist. No, not if he wants to foul. Okay, okay, he's just doing that. I'm not sure about this, right? I'm not sure about this, like. Feels like he had 300 different thoughts during this turn. Yeah. Yeah, because you do really want to foul him, right? Because you've got four, you've got four bench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you'd rather no, foul him with a attrition, right? yeah, foul him with a crap player so that he doesn't pom a good player. But instead, he's, yeah. got, he's got the best player to pom now. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, yep, you can just move him in. Saying that about not having taken any attrition. Yeah. Wilson kills himself. Yeah, just a wrestler though, isn't it? Not the end of the world. So I think you just palm him now. Give up stopping the score because you're not going to stop the score. Yeah. Move him in. Palm his best player. Kazan. Yeah, that, that last turn, the mistakes positionally there cost him a new chance of. Like it was, it was always going to be a still chance of stopping the score. But like with positioning like that, he had no chance. Yeah, and but it also mistake from augmented beard, right? You just land yeah, this then, juicy, juicy, juicy hit. This guy should have been over here somewhere, and this wrestler yeah. could have been here. Really, really weird leaving this here. Can maybe even like, foul him as guy, well as this guy's DP. Bold. I want a wizard for an extra round. Okay. Well, he can even, he can even, uh, look, he can even get in here. One, two, three, four, five. GFI foul him. Yeah. He's even got a TP foul coming in as well. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Let's tackle him. You could also foul this guy, right? If he uh, if he just cases or stuns, he can foul this one as well. So yep, lots of lots of options. Do it now, please, Coach Keith. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> holy hell, it's not rocket science to drive this over. It's about killing. This is what you get. Oh, one million percent reroll. Yeah, Ooh. that was a million percent reroll there. Yeah, that was a million percent reroll. You're not getting a better shot. No, you're not getting another shot. Yeah, <laughs> you're not getting a better shot at anything no. during this game like that you want to do. Like that, if you if you could set up a list of dreams going into uh, <laughs> this game, like claw palming. With potential fouling as a follow-up of the strength four mighty blitzer mm. would be top of that list. With ahead ahead of 
winning the game. No, it's not. But with three rerolls left, with three turns as well, right? Like if he happened that if that if that situation happened on like you know turn you know turn three or four, then you know you might want to conserve rerolls and you might not want to pile on, you know. And there's all sorts of positional things that go into it. But this is turn six with three rerolls left. Like you yeah. have to reroll it. You have to. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's shit anymore. Now he's gonna mighty blow you back, right? Like now because you haven't knocked him over, he's actually gonna just he's actually just gonna he's gonna mighty blow your pommer instead. Not even You're not fouling. even fouling, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Does he know what he's playing here? <laughs> but he's only got one reserve, right? And the beast's KO'd yeah, and he's about to get his tackle he's about to get his claw pommer mighty blow tackled. <laughs> well one of his claw pommers. In fact you could be greedy now, right, as the elves, and you could dodge out, blitz him, run back and block him. So you could actually just hit both claw pommers. Yeah. You absolutely could just hit both claw pommers here. Yeah, yeah move, move this wrestler in and do take this hit first. See what happens. Ah, I, I actually really like taking just taking both. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's not a banger ways. <laughs> See, that's one though. That's Oh dearly. Yeah, yeah, like he could have he could have stunned him with that and then yeah, that guy could have punched there and then like cuz he's only got one more turn to stall, right? So like he does you know, he's got no more turns to stall. So like he just needed this guy. This guy is out of range. So there's like literally nothing that can uh, stop the score if you if you blitz and get a push on that. I guess this was, he was more easily able to defend his strength fall doing it this way. Mm. I mean, what, why do you even have DP if you're not using it? It's my point. Glorious GFIs. I mean, did you not have another one? Because, like, you should just GFI because you've got, uh, you've got two rerolls. Yeah, that's good. You did one. No, he did both. Oh, oh. Okay, good. Oh, we take it back over to here. This thing I wasn't sure. Wow, Daily. Wow. <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> what the hell? The other one's PS4. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god, Shut that's up. not even... That's not even Charlie's. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Can I oh, him? I play on Xbox. No. Oh. <laughs> Shaming is enough. <laughs> Give me more rights. We need to clear up this chat. <laughs> Ban everyone. <laughs> well. I mean, what's this? Double GFI to hit. So you probably GFI, you probably hit this one. Because then there's less less reprisals, right? If if you you know, I mean, he's not going to fail you, I guess. But if you straight cas him, the strength all bits can three D you. So you have to blitz this one. And honestly, blood step is better than wrestle dodge anyway. Blocked his path. Oh. <laughs> I am slightly disappointed with. Uh, oh, did you have to go there anyway? Day. He had to go there anyway, I think. Okay. Yeah, he had to go. He had to go. He had to go laterally one anyway. And double ones. Wow. <laughs> oh, the best thing about playing elves. When they make an entire half without snaking, rolling how many GFIs and fucking dodges. <laughs> Even throwing in some three plus dodges just for shits and giggles, and then <laughs> you 
make also, your second you second attempt at a GFI and uh, you snake it. Yeah. <laughs> and he just fed him a mighty blow here, right? Like that that's all that guy did was feed him a mighty yeah. blow here. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 That was really weird. But um yep, perfect half there. A victory for the Dakar. Yep. Well done, yep. Augmented Beard. Kill stay out, which is big, the beast, isn't it? The beast being out is big. Nurgle down to 11 players. Um, I am delighted when anyone fails the GFI. <laughs> yeah, GFIs wow. Dale, you really do hate GFIs too much, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I don't do it myself. <laughs> true, Nolly, true, true. We, we'll wait until one fails and then use that as conclusive proof that the Dakar is ter a terrible strategy and nobody should ever use it. It is weird, the anti dakarists <laughs> Like, Chunt is mega anti dakar isn't he? Mega and Like, he's probably the most anti dakar PC is yeah, against like, the name, and then some people are a lot like a lot of people are quite against it. But I think Chunter is the one like he'd never even consider using it. He just thinks it's terrible. <laughs> Art thinks it's terrible, doesn't he? Yeah, Art and Chunter united in hating the Dakar. <laughs> I mean, I guess like it, it's fair to an extent if you just don't like doing it yourself, which I imagine is in at least part what Chandra feels about it. Yeah. Like, he doesn't want to play that style. Yeah, exactly. Ch Chandra already has a bunch of weird ideas because he wants to do it his way, doesn't he, and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is already kind of, like, pointless, right? Like, not so much with Blood Bowl because Blood Bowl isn't as solved, right? So, like, you can't... Yeah. There's not as much a right and a wrong way with Blood Bowl. But even if he was, like, playing, you know, you know poker and stuff where there's a right way, he'd still want to do it his way, wouldn't he? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the kind of fella he is. <laughs> Anti-elf, yeah, fair enough. I mean, you no. can start your turn rolling red dice with Dakas, that's the thing, right? Like, that, that beast in the middle could have totally got uphill, uphill yeah. powered to get through. <laughs> it wasn't even the wrong play. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah, well, the deck guy is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Inari. <laughs> the Dakar is not terrible. There, we've got another well, anti Dakarish. Anti yeah, I hate it. Well, I don't mind if the opponent does it, uh, but I'm not going to do it. Anyway, I need to go. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> the deck is so terrible, only taking one KO and one Kaz an entire half of getting tackle pond. Yeah, really. I mean, that really, really shows how bad it is. <laughs> I can say things now that he's gone. Oh, wow, a rock. <laughs> That's hilarious. Badly hurt. Oh, he does regen. Okay, so it's not... Not terrible, of course. If this was Blood Bowl three or Blood Bowl twenty twenty, Fumble, whatever, this guy would not regen because he would have been sent off, right? So there would have been no chance of a regen in uh, in the what? latest rules. Does he get sent off for a rock? Yeah, it's it's not it's not a throw rock anymore. It's get it's a vicious ref, oh. and the referee goes out and like either beats up the player so he gets stunned, <laughs> or he sends them off so they're just sent off. <laughs> <laughs> Narian rocks. That was a pretty glorious. Uh, <laughs> it was right, pretty. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> the Dakar sucks. Anyway, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when, when Nick just came in and killed Dewey. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that was glorious. <laughs> I like the pile on the KO. Yeah. Because, you know, he's got the reserves anyway, and they'll just come back, won't they? Yeah. Time, so. Oh, he's got 
should have made that 3D, 100%. Yeah, it's, yeah. And now Coach Keith has his two re-rolls left, thinking, why didn't I re-roll that hit on the strength four? <gasps> why? <laughs> that was uh, terrible. Mm. I think terrible's maybe a bit strong, but, you know, because obviously he could have dub scored right re-rolling it, but, yeah, the, the stopping oh, the score was all there, and he, he, I think he had to have some of this. Yeah, because, like, at that, at that point, you're not playing for... Like, you're just playing for maximizing chances of attrition, and then, like, if you dub skull, you dub skull. Like, that's just the way to go. Yeah. It's sad if that happens. Oh, Beast is out! Oh. Well, and the guard comes back. <laughs> not been fun for, uh, for Coach Keith this. No. And uh, I'm afraid you're going to have to uh, go by the second half alone or hope that someone else comes and join you. Okie dokie. Well, because I need to lie down. Yep. Get well soon, Daedal. Cheers. Thanks for coming on. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Nurgle have the bib as well. Yeah, Nurgle have the bib. And <laughs> he's failed twice. <laughs> He's made two out of three KOs, and he's filled two out of two. Amazing. And he's got the bird. Absolutely glorious. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Because he dackered Baron Bucky, it was a glorious dacker. Minimized hits very well. Uh, the uh, Nurgle could they have played better on defense? Maybe you know could they have could they have uh, you know maybe he's only tried to fight and not really care so much about scoring the score, stopping the score, or should they have you know could they have done things to be better at stopping the score? Yes and yes, <laughs> but um, they did neither, and here we are. <laughs> I mean, not being too harsh, like, but you know what I mean. Like, I think you need. It really sucks not having stand firm on the beast, right? And only he's only got one stand firm, but like that stand firm wasn't on the wing. Like having a stand firm tentacles on the wing is pretty good, right? That locks down the wing. He had his tentacles next to each other. He didn't like massively engage to try and get hits. He just screened kind of somewhat ineffectively and got uh, got run through. In there. This team's honestly probably better without the beast. As much as I was saying it was big, it's literally probably better without the beast. The beast is shit against elves. Absolutely shit. Because uh, that could have been a wizard. That, that beast could have been a wizard for him. It's so it's literally so bad the beast. I can't emphasize how bad the beast is. <laughs> against elves. It's movement four, and it requires somebody to help him move. It's literally the worst thing. But elves fuck you because these guys are movement 8 and edge 4 and have dodge so they can move wherever they want. And you want to have a guy who's got movement in movement 4 and needs help to move? It's rubbish. Absolute rubbish. <laughs> That's my opinion. But you know, you can't you can't trust my opinion because I haven't played very many games with Kemri, so how could I possibly know what I was talking about when it comes to Nurgle? There's a there's a Reddit reference from years ago. <laughs> it is just my opinion, man. You know, some guy made a dickhead comment on my YouTube, I just deleted it, but I could have replied to it. When he was like saying, oh my god, you're so ignorant, you just state your opinions as fact. And it's like, first of all, no I fucking don't. And it's like, if you can't fucking work out that like what I'm saying is my opinion, like, I just don't understand how fucking stupid you must be. Like, obviously it's my opinion, like, I'm not, I'm not quoting like, well, Nurgle have a 57% win rate at 2000 TV, so this and this. I just go, I think this is crap. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I, you know, I could have, I could have replied and just torn. I could have replied and torn apart every part, point you made, just because you know it was completely wrong. I'm not caring about it, but I just thought it would look good. You know, it would look good having the response, like just saying how he was completely wrong. Would be quite a good comment to have on my YouTube. Instead, I just deleted it because I just thought, you know, he can flip off. But like he was so wrong about everything. I thought this was a good chance to like say, like, obviously it's my opinion. Jesus Christ, everything's an opinion, isn't it? Un unless like there is, unless there's quantifiable things that you're quoting, every every single guide is just opinion, isn't it? Right? And like on every game. Yeah, well, this is pretty bad, wasn't it? This is what this is how good the Dakar is, right? Four blocks here, two cars. And it's like, oh, good job he dackered first half. Still got a team for the second. He can just defensive dacker now if he wants. <laughs> maybe, Ansi, maybe. Yeah. BB three games are happening, yeah. So I've got the I've got the final to do between Elliot and Nick. I still haven't casted that properly. And I'm going to do the semis and final of the next one. Like the second one. So yeah, only not many games to do. A lot of them weren't streamed, so a lot of them aren't able to do the replays of. But um, I mean, that's the thing, yeah, Team Taylor. So, so the thing about the Beast and like tentacles in general, they're good like when things are going well, right? When things are going well, they lock down the game. But... If things are going well again, like the problem against elves is getting them to go well, right? The, the problem against elves is to is to get the problem against elves is to get it messy versus the elves, right? Is getting it messy in the first place, not not making it easier once you get it messy. So I think that I think it's rubbish. I think it, oh, genuinely, I think the beast is rubbish versus elves. I'm not even memeing, really. I just I would rather not have it. I think it's good against strength teams because it's another strength five and guard with guard, basically. It's completely unreliable. If you're lucky, you'll get to. Uh, is he blitzed yet? I'd quite like that uh, blitzing him with mighty blow. Who's even blitzing now? Nobody. So if he blitzed him with mighty blow, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Then he's got him to move up as well, right? So I think he's misplayed here. But yeah. Like, who are you blitzing? Oh, this guy. Mm, it's okay, I guess. Doesn't mean you've got a GFI. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's okay. It's okay. I really like getting another player downfield, though. I'd, I'd, I'd value getting another player downfield more. The high elf could have been here. Catcher could have been here. He could have just been here, right? I guess this does get him further away from the claw palm. The claw palm retaliation. <laughs> Which surely is coming. In fact, he could have ran over here after if he had blitzed, he could have been here and completely safe. And then the high elf, the catcher could have been like down here and safe as well. So he could have actually got them both safe by doing the blitz. So yeah, the blitz. Hmm. But then this was like, you know. If you commit to making the two GFIs within, then uh, more chance for knockdown, isn't it? 75 versus 55. But yeah, strength 4 out here. High up catcher here. Or here, something. I like much more. Don't like this because he could have he could have come down because he's in the way right of the blitz. He's in the way of the blitz, he could have come there. I could double GFI to blitz him, does suck. But like, it's his best play. I guess he's going to blitz with him, but then you don't need the assist. Blitz him and then go to there. Yeah, Baron Bucky, I mean, he, he could have had another player in between, right? 
But then on the other hand, doing this encourages the elves to make this kind of play, which then might give you more hits and like get you in a better position for overtime. You know, maybe the best play from the elves is just to run away. So it's interesting. It's hard to say it was wrong. Gets the power. Gets the AV break. So he wouldn't have got this hit if he'd uh, if he'd played it safer. Though, augmented beard didn't need to give this hit up, I don't think. Well, I know he didn't. I, <laughs> I plotted the blitz that he could have gone, which would have left him here. Completely out of range of either corpo. It's all pros and cons, isn't it? That's the thing. Well, I don't like I don't like him going over there. I want him I want him up here around the ball. And also this one, you see, this one moves to kind of the wrong square, I think. No, nope, because yeah, he's gonna have to be a fan. Yeah, I think I think I think Coach Keith could have done that a bit. Well, I think him doing it a bit differently would have been a bit better. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he did have to stand in there, didn't he? I think now you probably have to run away point, honestly. Like, there's so many removals. Yeah. Yeah, try and protect him. Yep, I like that. Could he almost re-roll this? Like, you can't because, you know, Kekwadi and everything. So, so now the beast is, would be decent, right? Now, now if that if the beast was uh, was holding some players somewhere that you could then claw upon down the line, it would be decent. But it's already a decent drive for the Nurgle, right? The the high elves already given up. You're already dominating the drive. So, you know, I just don't like it. I feel like it, it shaves a few percentages off the harder things. I'd rather not have... Like, that's it, right? If, you, if you're shaving, like, a percent off the hard games in exchange for adding a percent to the easy games, I'd rather not do that. I want, I want my best chance in the hard games. Well, I mean, that's my opinion, right? But then, you know, and it's the kind of opinion that Elliot shares, but then, you know, you see, you see Ducky particularly, um, and Chunter leaning more to the kind of, you know, foul loads, snowball it, you know, even in matches where they are kind of a big favorite coaching wise, team wise, etc. They'll still, they'll still try and get that high roll even if they don't need it, if you know what I mean. And there is a certain amount to be said for that, so it's it's interesting. It's not as cut and dried as you might think. But obviously, instinctively, you think, you know, if, you, if you're behind, if you're behind, you try and get lucky. You know, you go high risk, high reward if you're behind, and you go low risk, low reward if you're ahead, right? Like, that's... It's not rocket science to think that way.
It is weird how people tend to feel that BB2020 is more swingy. Clopham takes longer to get online and is limited in teams that can take it. Whereas everyone gets dirty player and a lot of people get dirty player sneaky good. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So it's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting because both both ways of looking at it have merit, don't they? So it's not it's not a hundred percent of like you know obviously, and maybe both maybe both ways are correct at different times, right? Maybe maybe the Ducky school of thought and the Elliot school of thought. It's not as if one's right and the other's wrong. There'll just be times when the ducky way is right and times when the Elliot way is right. Most of the time it's not really going to matter <laughs> because ducky's still ducky and Elliot's still Elliot. <laughs> but it is interesting that there's like a, a bit of a, you know, that there is that thing there where, you know, no one should say that Elliot isn't good at Blood Bowl and nobody should say that Ducky isn't good at Blood Bowl, right? Like pretty pretty similar level, I would say. Top, top quality Blood Bowl. You actually see Devo as well. Devo will try to go, try and get lucky, right? Even in games where he almost doesn't need to. Mm. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, fouling isn't isn't as much win more. No. Fouling is just. Uh, my variance, isn't it? It's somewhat high. It's somewhat win more, right? It's often used win more. It's often used in win more situations. Oh, wow. Not, not using his tackle on him. Content to leave him on the beast. Yeah, and like just just in general, right? In in and not not just like the surfs, right? Which is the obvious one from from Devo. Like if you just watch a lot of his chalice matches, like he'll he'll really like overemphasize the banging and over ball protection, right? Case in point, his game versus Ducky, right? You see, uh, if you remember if you remember that that game where Ducky had like a very a very normal undead team, right? And uh, Devo had a pretty pretty sweet pretty sweet chaos team. I just felt like he, he overemphasized the banging, um, that he didn't really need, didn't need to emphasize the banging as much as he did, right? Because he was already ahead. Um, I don't know, it's ducky, so it's not as if like, you know, it's not the same as versus a random 30% where like, oh, just don't let them in, you know? But it's still like, I still did think he overemphasized banging on position. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ducky. It is. It is. It is somewhat fouling. Yeah, you can afford to foul. Right, there's a positional cost of fouling, and you can afford that cost more freely if you're ahead. Basically, but then it is also a way to come back into games as well, right? Like if you're behind, it's a way to get back into games. So it's uh, it, fouling is interesting. Like it is just literally high risk, high reward, isn't it?
and then the positional cost was completely uh, completely removed with sneaky git and guard affecting fouls so they've they and obviously now with a nerf it's not quite as free to foul as it was for a long time it's funny isn't it no they buffed guard in Aryan <laughs> haven't they they've buffed guard so that's mitigated the cost of fouling because um you know, the positional cost of fouling, because now you, all of a sudden you can have like four assists for free. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. That's a very strange thought, Nolly, because it's like the most quantifiable, isn't it? Like, fouling is literally the most quantifiable part of Blood Bowl, because it's just literally... You know, you're rolling the dice to see if they're sent off, or if you remove them. So, like, scroll dudes done like loads of uh, loads of maths of like you know the TV of the guy doing the foul and the TV of the guy getting fouled and stuff like that. But, uh, really surprised that he's uh, pumming this shithead. Rookie instead of pumming this uh, bloodstep guarder, but I guess he's got the, the big foul there. But he could have also done a big foul here, couldn't he? Yes, but I mean that that helps you a lot, doesn't it? What I mean is, if you're going to solve anything, you need both, right? And that, so it makes it the more solvable. The fact that there's a maths element that you can just work out makes it inherently more solvable than anything else, doesn't it? Just going between here with him, that's pretty good, isn't it? And then you, 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 your cages are assisting both fouls. <laughs> your cage, your cage is fully assisting both fouls. Really wants to hunt these guys down. And I guess he can cage up there. It is hilarious that guard got buffed. Yeah, that's so weird. Well, what are two one grind coaches in Aryan? Do you mean like sixty percenters? Or do you mean bash is worse? <laughs> I love that he's managed to just not cage it here. Amazing. All these players <laughs> are not one to spare in it with a cage. Luckily he doesn't get sent off, so now he gets to actually cage. Could have just double GFI'd uphill wrestled, right? Really good chance of popping it out. So do you mean Mr. Page in Aria? <laughs> the kind of 60... 65% kind of coaches that mostly play bash. About 65 and under, I guess. I think Andy's better than that in our ring. But he does play like that. Like, he does play like that a lot in Chalice, right? That's what I've noticed in Chalice. So whether he's just like, thinks he has to get luckier in Chalice, right? Which was obviously, which was obviously <laughs> fair against Ducky, right? But, uh, but you know, a lot of games he doesn't need to get lucky in, in Chalice, but he plays like, he, he plays like, he is, he plays differently to he plays in ladder a lot of the time in Chalice, which is why I think he, uh, yeah, maybe it was, maybe it was Aurelius. I mean, you know, there's a huge disconnect, isn't there, between, you know, Devo, Cruz and Ducky's win rate in Ladder compared to the win rate in Chalice. You know? Where are you going, you know? So, it's interesting. You do Chalice in Army. So... 
you want to see the bit what the biggest move has got you can do that one Ooh. ah you did it first damn it <laughs> you know which and then you've got cruise obviously and then you've got the duckster so you know Ducky and Cruz have probably got high, higher win rates in Chalice than they do in Ladder, right? Probably Inarium does as well. Those three have probably all got higher win rates in Chalice than Ladder. And they're probably coming in with good teams as well, to be fair. But so does Devo, right? Devo came in with monster teams regularly. Devo came in with monster teams regularly in the Chalice. So it's certainly not the teams. And you, you can't really blame dice when it's that many games. Especially when I've seen with my own eyes him playing Chalice. And it really does seem like he plays a kind of riskier style in Chalice. Or played a riskier style in Chalice. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But I mean, that's just two first round exits, which can happen to 2,400 TV wood elves, can't it? You know? I took Ogres to the chalice once, and, uh, <laughs> you know, some really bad teams. I took some really bad teams to chalice. I nearly won. My Ogres nearly won, honestly. If I had played a little bit, if I had played a little bit better or had a little bit better luck, I would have, I would have uh, got to overtime with my Ogres. It was so, it was literally, honestly, genuinely, it was so close. I got like a wonder draw of Orcs, and Orcs can't really do a whole lot, right, against Ogres. Like they beat you up a bit, sure, but they're, they're you know, they're not like Elves where they just beat you six 0 or something. Yeah, yeah, art is who you want if you've got a really terrible team. Yeah, and art, right? Like, why is art's record so bad in Chalice compared to his thing? Now, I didn't really think he played differently in Chalice. But some of the games when he was worse, the bad teams, bit of dice. But I mean, Chalice. Art's Chalice record is unbelievable, isn't it? Um, maybe an Aryan. There is a... There is a thing. There is a Chalice stats thing somewhere. I don't know where the link is. Yeah, but the thing is, Galentio, if you look at ladder stats, Art wins against better players better than everybody else as well. So it's not as if he's just beating the bad players and losing to the bad, losing to the good players, right? So it is really pretty weird. Art's terrible. Horrendous chalice record is more of a mystery to me than Davos is because I've noticed. I've noticed Davo playing like greedier in chalice. Or more desperately, if it chose. Why reroll there? Yeah, that was terrible. That was literally horrendous. <laughs> literally horrendous. Wow. Was wasn't even to get the foul. It was to do. It was to Giovanni to hit. That was. Yeah, that chalice nerd, yeah, maybe. Yeah, mental mental game, maybe that's it, Nolly, yeah. So maybe chalice nerves are a real thing. I mean, I just can't beat many teams in the first round, daily. <laughs> oh, he's not even, he's not even out.
I mean, <laughs> like, that's ludicrous, isn't it? That is ludicrous, 21%. But, like, Devo was down at 30-odd before he won one. Alright, so he's got another chance to get the KOs back. Didn't get his strength 4 back. Does he have an outside chance of a one turn here? Three, six, eight players. Very unlikely to get the one turn. So probably should set up for a quick snap somehow. Quick snap a riot. Beast comes back. At least the Kaz are all people he doesn't care about, really. But he needs these KOs back. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like even seeing Devo play differently in Chalice, it was still it was still kind of ridiculous how bad his record was. It's still ridiculous how bad his record is after winning one and making the final like twice. <laughs> it's still ridiculously low for how good he is. Wouldn't coach birds ever. Well done, Inaria. Only admiration for you there, Inaria. I feel sullied that I uh, I have played at uh, Brett's myself, to be honest. Honestly, the uh, the Burt's, the Burt tips are try your hardest. Because um, yeah, Burt's you can do exclamation point Burt's. We've we've got a, we've got a command just for Burt's. Why isn't it working? I mean, it, it is a command, I just don't know why it's not worth working. Just a year B must be down, right? I've been baptized in my own sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. It just took a while. There you go. In Arena's birth. Zero. And there wasn't a one turn there. Yeah, well done, In Arena. Well done. I've never coached Underworld. There's the cooldown, Keterbix. There's cooldown on sound effects. Oh, he gets a strength four. Another one. So it's all down to who wins the coin toss. Is a huge deciding factor here. And the high elves win the toss. Flip me, and they've got three re rolls. And for some reason, the Nurgle have only got one because they threw one away. No, I just didn't. Just did it wrong. Flip me. That's Jim. I want to see mine. What? What? Does it have to do two M's? Look at that. Four. And then also. The crabs I gave my flatmates were the best crabs you could ever get, okay? <laughs> there you go. There you go, uh, Machu Picchu. I am mental, yeah. Good record, though, isn't it? Because I tried, like, I try harded, like, I fully try harded. Like, I maintain that's why that's why my record is good with them because I just I had to try because they're terrible. Whereas my record with dwarves is pretty terrible, right? My record with dwarves is pretty terrible. Um... Like sixties, I'm sure. 
Oh no, 71. Okay. <laughs> I mean, 71 is terrible, right? 71% with dwarves is terrible. Because it's just auto winning it. You play dwarves and you're just like, oh my god, just let me just click and win every game. Duh, duh, duh. You feel your brain leaking out, you know, and you're just like, oh god, auto win, auto win, auto win. And like putting almost zero thought into the game whatsoever, right? And then. But then with Bert, it's like, oh my god, oh my god, this is horrific. <laughs> I have to give my absolute all <laughs> in every single game. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. So I think that I think that is the explanation of my Bert record a bit. <laughs> I have in Ari, and strangely enough, they disagree. <laughs> They, for some reason, think the Dwarves are the hardest team in Blood Bowl to coach. They're not overpowered in the least. And really, winning with Dwarves just shows how, what a real expert you are at Blood Bowl, you know? Funnily enough, they both, they both think that. <laughs> but everyone's the same, right, you know? I'm sure, I'm sure Inarian thinks that, like, uh, Wood Elves and, and, and uh, Halflings show great skill to win with. I'm sure Chunter thinks the pinnacle of Blood Bowl is... Winning with Skaven, you know. <laughs> Nobody seems to advocate the the, ra the race they main as being the best, you know. Fun funnily enough, <laughs> not many people, at least, <laughs> not many people like are like Shawnee and are like undead or OP as fuck. That's why I play with them. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, so here we've got the we've got the catcher out of stink range to get past two. And he's gonna try and do a quick two turn down this side. Yeah, under the OP at low low T V for sure. Yeah, winning by being me, exactly Nolly, yeah. Yeah, pr prowls. They're still elves, right? They're still elves. And I think, oh, P. Diddy, oh, the sideline push. He should have just dackered. The sideline push is now suddenly up against two tentacles and feeling somewhat bad. Um, the things with pro elves is, I think pro elves are a lot worse when coached by random people than, than like the other elves, right? So if you've got like, you know, say wood elves and uh, dark elves, and even high elves to a lesser extent. Even bad coaches, like with dark elves and wood elves and high elves, either have like the big movement or the big AV to help them. But with pro elves, they're armor seven and they play bad, so you've got more chances against them. But if it's a good player with pro elves, then I think pro elves, you know, are still worse than dark elves and woodies, but not as appreciably worse as they are when coached by a worse coach, if you see what I mean. And seeing as most coaches are worse than than good coaches, <laughs> right? Like most people who play Blood Bowl aren't that good at Blood Bowl, right? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, 99% of people aren't as good as K-Fog, right? So because most people aren't as good as K-Fog, they're, uh, they're gonna get more out of the, the other elves. But then once you are as good as K-Fog, I still think you're getting more out of Wood Elves and Dark Elves than you are out of Pro Elves. I think, you know, High Elves are pretty close. I wouldn't like to say which is better between uh, Pro Elves and High Elves. Like, I think that's pretty close. But I think with bad coaches, I think the Armour 7 hurts them more. So I think with bad coaches, it's, it's Pro Elves. I'm not even... Bad, just not as good, right? You know, I'm not saying bad. I'm saying bad by... I'm using not K-Fog as my barometer of bad, by the way. <laughs> average, whatever. Yeah, I could have said average. At what point is someone good at Blood Bowl? I mean, that's, a, that's an interesting question daily, isn't it? Depends on your... Just depends on your personal opinions, really, right? Some people call, you know... Eliod good. Some people call Ducky good. Some people call making a three plus pass not good. Um, you know, and some people, so like, you know, you could look at, say, 
Nolly, right? And somebody could say Nolly was good and somebody else could say Nolly was excellent and somebody else could say Nolly was average. So it's just their opinions, isn't it? But I mean, I guess what you would have to do is um, actually actually define it properly, right? With like average being, being, you know, whatever the average win rate is, right? And then like, you know, standard deviations and shit like that right things like that i guess and but then even then you're not really measuring how good somebody is you're just measuring how good they've done and it's a lot easier to do well if you're min maxing underworld or whatever you know and things like that right so it's all it's all weird it is really all is weird like how you would define it <laughs> only if you had a proper throw on the team he does have a proper throw That's why you shouldn't have throwers, kids. Ah! Yeah, what would, would what would you have on a thrower? Dodge? Sure hands? If you take accurate first, or lead leader, if you take accurate first, you're a lunatic. <laughs> if you take strong arm on the double, A, it wouldn't have helped you on this pass. B, you're a lunatic. <laughs> 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 always find people good at Blood Bowl when they're playing against me. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the Chalice, the Leagues, the CCL, Tabletop, right? There's all sorts of those things. And, like, the people who, like, are the top-level players, like, are good in all of them, right? Like, you know, say, KFOG and PW and Purple Goo and PC and, you know, all the people that, that aren't would be, right? You know, like, the people who don't play tabletop would still be good at tabletop if they did do you know what i mean like it's so it's kind of it it all does cross over anyway it's still blood ball right yeah but, but you can use chalice to mean like fumble mages and everything can't you as well yeah <laughs> Well, the, the the beauty is uh, the beauty is Nolly. If you do turn out to be rubbish, you can just blame the dice. That's that's the that's the wonder of Blood Bowl, isn't it? Ooh, I mean, it is it is very small and very swingy, right, Chalice? Like it really is. It really is small and swingy. So, uh, hey, a bit like. <laughs> um, it really is small and swingy. Like, you know, you can just look at, at like, you know, for, especially for, like, Chalice wins, right? It just takes, like, a couple of a couple of moments and anybody who's won a Chalice or come close could have two more or two less. Like, very easily, right? Very easily. The sample size of Chalice is that small that if you take away Cruz's stats from... Chaos Dwarves, it makes a massive difference. <laughs> um, so here, I think, what do you have to do? Oh, he's based. Oh, so you dodge there, put him to here. So he, oh, he's got to get off. Though. He's got to get off the tents. All right, so use him. And then chain. Oh. Okay, oh, that's a bit unlucky, but he's got, he can blitz him now and pick it up. Now he's got a light like, Daka, right? Now he's got to kind of kind of run away to try and salvage his drive some, somehow. It's still doable. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? You can get there. He can dodge out there. He can dodge out here. So he, he can get something, and then he's just got to try and pray for something. That was a brutal, absolutely brutal air perfect defense. Uh, not really physics. N not not like Cruz. <laughs> not like Cruz. Oh, Sonic. Cruz really makes a lot of difference. Like a huge. Like Cruz's makes a huge difference. It turns like the best race. The clearly best race into just the same as Nurgle and Chaos. 
this is a lovely turn here for actually from augmented beard i was going to uh i was going to run away and like try and battle but he can double gfi here and get in range can't he he can be only touchable by this guy oh Now it sucks, right? Because you really want the double GFI, so you can double GFI next turn. Oh, man. I guess you just can't now. But now he's got to beat tentacles, and... I guess, yeah, he already has beaten tentacles, so he can get in range, yeah. Yeah, that's good. He's in range there. But he will get tentacles sat on him. So he has to... I mean, he has to double GFI here to stop the tents on him. He literally has to has to double GFI here to stop getting the tents on him. And I understand him wanting to take out this Strength 4 Tackler. But I think he really had to do that to stop him on him. Problem is, he can just go deep right this turn. So this is like you've basically committed to uh, to scoring on this guy. So you probably just want to blitz him, or tense him, and bring this guy back. Mm. I guess you can always just come back again, right? You can always come back again as the high elves. So it's not it's not that it's not that easy for the medical. Yeah, it really sucked to build the reroll. It would have been so good if he had just double, got a double GFI here. It's GG almost, isn't it? Because next turn he can just double GFI and score. So it really sucked using the reroll. But really good turn, yeah. Really well played. But yeah, hello physics. No, like, you know, if you take away my stats from completely from CCL, it but barely changes anything, right? If you take away Cruz's stats, it's like five or six wins <laughs> from Chops, right? <laughs> it's five or six titles, and it's uh, and it's also like a huge chunk of win rate taken off them. I don't think anyone else has got like a chosen race in Chavez, do they? Maybe like... I ravel with Ch oh yeah, Chunter's rats. Probably not going to make much difference, right? One one title, probably about the same win rate as rats in Chalice. Yeah, yeah. Take away an iron from Woody's. Woody's look a lot worse. I think Woody's have only won like three times. So it, it would make a difference in wins, but not that not that many games, right? And Aaron hasn't played that many games. And Woody's probably win quite quite a lot anyway, mate. So it's not going to make that big an impact in terms of overall win rate. But it would in uh, it would in wins. Well, did he though? Physics. He played. He Cruz played Chos because he thought it was the meta to win Chalice, right? That's the thing. That's the thing. He thought it was the meta to win Chalice. But if you take out Cruz's stats, then Chos. Nurgle and Chaos are equal. So if he had decided that um, that Chaos were the meta, then Chaos's win rate would have been higher and won more championships. <laughs> Just guaranteed. If if Chris was you know building monster two and a half K Chaos teams every season, and being top Chaos team every season, yeah, exactly, Chigan, exactly. But he alone wouldn't have pushed them up to the rate, win rate Chaos have got. But he would have pushed Nurgle or Chaos up to that win rate. I mean, he is really good, and he's played more like... He's, so he's really good. <laughs> yes, he is really good. Obviously, he's really good. <laughs> if you think Crucifer isn't really good, then you're an idiot. But also, not only is he really good at Blood Bowl, he's really good at Chalice specifically, right? He is the best at Chalice. Because, you know, yeah, like, Ducky could have done the same as Cruz, right? Ducky could have just only played Chaufs and played Chaufs 
loads of loads and loads of games. I mean, not I mean, he, but he didn't, right? <laughs> and and uh, you know, K Fog could have done, Devo could have done, Elliot could have done, I could have done, but none of us did because it's fucking hard to to be as dedicated as Chris, right? So like, you can't just you can't take away his credit by saying, well, somebody else could have done because nobody else did, you know. So that's it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bashing Cruz at all. No. No, far from it. Far from it. I have the utmost respect for Cruz. Just in the playing the meta deserves respect as much as like. Well, he defined the meta, didn't he? But it's really not easy to grind like Cruz. You know, it really isn't. So yeah, he grinded the most. Okay, but that doesn't. That absolutely doesn't invalidate it whatsoever, does it? And if, it, like, that's the thing, like, what I, what I was saying was Cruz is so good, like, with the grinding and everything, mentality, all that kind of stuff. If he had just, if he had just decided Nurgle were the best, all of a sudden, instead of Nurgle winning, you know, three or four, Nurgle win ten. <laughs> and, and, like, he, he still wins six no matter what race he chooses, 100%. Or five or six, how many he's won. Yes, that was it, Samage, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> now, six is... I didn't know if he'd won five or six. Right, he's won six, then. <laughs> And he might win seven. He might win seven. Because he might win this one that's going on. He's got the best team. <laughs> he's literally got the best team. But uh, he's got a rough draw. But he has the best team left in. So, um, yeah, he's, he's been scrambling here, hasn't he, Beard? He hasn't, got, he hasn't got tons of players, but he's got nine. It's just, it's just really rough. Like, now, obviously, now that... Things are a scramble. Like if he if he hadn't had the perfect defence, he would have just scooted down the sideline and scored. And even if he had, well, no, he might not have done because he, he won nine the pass, didn't he? But if he'd got that pass off, he might have just scooted down the sideline and scored. But now it's tricky because this is a hell of a sweeper, isn't it? Strength four, unassisted tackle. Really hard to do with this guy. But I mean, he can just dodge through and, and tag him potentially. But he's got it. He's got to tag him. And he's got a potato at the same time. And he's got to worry about this guy tentacling people. And this thing tentacling people. Which I guess it's not going to activate for the rest of the half. <laughs> Very good, well, the answer. Is it better than the two Adj6 Natty Rap teams? Well, one of them's gone out, Nolly. Two Crucifer. <laughs> and yes, it is. It's more. Um, it's more consistent. It's it's more. It's more consistent power. Um, Crucifer. Can it lose easily to those? Uh, those two teams. Yes, it can. Like, yes, in it, that's why it's a tough draw for him, right? He can easily lose to those teams. Easily. He could have easily lost his first match round match versus Chunder, where Chunder played better than him, I think. But still, he didn't, and his team is still better. I would still I would still choose, you know, Cruz's team over... A dazzle Cruz has not already happened, no. Um, yeah, he very nearly lost, but you know... I would choose Cruz's team to win Chalice a hundred percent. Why is he not scoring? Because he couldn't in Aryan. He tried that pass, that idiotic pass. <laughs> no, it's a bit unfair. You know, he tried the pass to, to get the quick score and he but, You know, people who were against the Daka say that you can just choose to score in two turns. Well guess what? You can't just choose to score in two turns. You cannot cho just choose to score in two turns, unfortunately. So, he's having to scramble about now. That, that failed pass has made it really, really tough for him. 
Like perfect defense into failed pass. He is not stuck in the deck mentality at all, actually, in Aryan. He did a really, really good move to try and uh, try and potato down the sideline, but he just got unlucky using a reroll. He could have he could have just GFI'd twice with it. Honestly, he maybe he should have double GFI'd even without a reroll. I know Dadle would have hated it, but if he could have just double GFI'd that turn, he just scores right. He just scores the next turn. So you can argue that, but it's great, great spot. He went. He went. I would have gone for the deck mentality, but he went for the. Uh, Really nice play of trying to hand off and score up here. It was lovely, honestly. <laughs> there you go, Nolly. Yeah, Dadle would have gone mental, yeah. Yeah, he would have done. But, like, you know, that was maybe the best play, right? Because if you make those, if you make those GFIs, you, you, just, you just score almost certainly. Yeah, yeah, Ducky. Yep, yep. That might have been better than whatever whatever he's going to get, right? From here on. Maybe, it may be better. I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but it may be better. Because this is tough, right? He's got two tentacles. Thought of getting him. He's got two tentacles to worry about. He's got a, he's got a strength four sweeper with tackle. He's used one of his rerolls, so he's got a one reroll advantage. So he's what sixty-eight percent if it goes to kicks. There was a uh, there was a bribe, no fouls. It could have been just a cheeky foul from uh, Coach Keith. Eh? He probably should just stuck in a rando foul there, right, with a bribe. Probably a mistake by him to have not fouled either of these two with it there. Could see uphill on the beast here. Because he's he made the mistake of having his tentacles touching, <laughs> so maybe he can uh, maybe he could uphill blitz there. Or he can strength four oh, with a guard there. Maybe uh, this guy comes over and you just blitz him away. So you can you can free him up, and then but then you just again you just stuck around here, right? You're not getting forward. There's a lot to be said for for him going up and getting the ball to him. Am I going through this way? Indeed, Galentio. I don't know. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't want the tentacles touching other tentacles physics. <laughs> you want the tentacles touching <laughs> grasping victims. <laughs> you don't want them <laughs> You don't want them playing with each other. <laughs> One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, yep, so he's out of range of the tents with him. Really tricky though, isn't it, with the uh, and the wants the stink spread out as well, doesn't he? This is the thing, he wants the stink spread out. He wants the tentacle spread out a bit. He has got a nice wall across here, like almost, right? He needs this guy up here, basically. Or blitz this guy and put the tent, uh, put the beast in there. And then this guy over here, but like, what? he can make a full wall with a tent, with a, what's it called? Stink, right? He can make a full wall of stink. Pretty easily. But he, he can't let these. He should have fouled him, honestly, with a bribe. And maybe he didn't notice he got a bribe from kickoff because I didn't notice. <laughs> but and I've I have not noticed before. Like you know, autopilot games, I've not noticed. But um, he should have stuck in a foul there, right? Especially this one here should have definitely stuck in a foul here. He should have definitely stuck in a foul here with a bribe. I guess he just hasn't noticed he's got the bribe. Yeah, Galentio, it does, it does, thematically it should, shouldn't it? Oh, he surfed rough. So now he's got to make sure, that, like, this is why I like getting somebody up this end, right? Like, that's why I really like pushing forward up here somehow, because now, 
by surfing him this this guy is out for this turn but next turn he's going to be back in the mid middle again but if you if you if you just got people forward last turn they could have broken down here he couldn't have got back in time and they could have scored so i do think his play last turn should, was not up here it should have been around here and trying to get a catcher up to there ah! Yep. Yep. Now, 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 all that's all augmented B can do now, right? Now it's just try and hang on, try and hang on for kicks with his rerolls. He's sixty-eight percent to win. You can see. There you go. Ah, good luck, Agrelius. Probably be probably be uh, watching it then. This is live. Yep, dirty Raxel. Yeah, well, 60, yeah, it's 60, isn't it? 67.7. So if you can possibly hold on, which, you know, he can, right? This tentacles, tentacles aren't on any one of them. <laughs> He's got two tentacles, neither on either. Neither on either. Um, I mean, okay, this one's thanks to a stun, but still. So you can, you can get these three guys off. This one, these can still have him as a scoring, pretend scoring threat. Let's go here, I guess, or just back in the end zone still. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Yeah, oh, that's tough though. It's tough. So you've got to try and he's got to try and double layer the screen against the uh, tentacles. Yeah, vampires. Glorious vampires. <laughs> In real life. <laughs> Alright, so he's not he's not going for a scoring threat. He's all in on the uh, sixty-eight percent survival now. Maybe not, right? There's maybe an outside chance of something. Mostly he's in for the uh, Try to hang on. Hey, you know, Coach Keith maybe should have been pushing harder to try and uh, try and pressure earlier. You can argue. I don't I don't know how much he could have done, but Yep, strength four. And honestly, even if he just gets him forward, he can still stall with him, right? Like, still stalling with his strength 4, like, away from his end zone is, is an option. Like, the strength 4 could just go here. And then, um, you know, he can either come back to screen with him or whatever, or protect with him, or he could have gone up as an outlet. Like, it's still okay as an outlet. Problem is the, is the stink now, isn't it? The stink has him almost, uh, almost certainly has to just stay on the. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this because the beast moves. I guess it's okay. I think I would have moved him here first. I would have moved the first one here, and then the second one to here. Would I? No, this is probably okay. Actually, <laughs> you do want you do want the blood steppers next to each other, don't you? And you do want the wrestler holding you. So this is this is the way you want to do it. Fails is three plus, so he's definitely not scoring. So now see the good thing about having the scoring threat is at least like there's something there, right? Whereas now it gives Keith more ammo to uh, bring everything forward and completely throw caution at the wind. Oh he's gonna knock over this guy, right? This guy is still scoring threat. But, as long as he knocks over this fella this turn, he can completely uh, throw caution to the wind. Yep. For three turns, three turns, 
of being as crazy as he can be might be enough Oh, really stupid. You have to blitz him here. And then one, two, three, four, GFI at the end. Yeah, he, he did do well, Augmented Beard. And nearly got the breakaway early on. Ooh, he shouldn't have followed. Mm. It's still a GFI anyway, so it doesn't matter, actually. Yeah, it actually doesn't matter, so that's good. I'll stay there. It's got to hit this guy. Okay, I hate that. Flipping hate that. I really like G double G. Well, one single GFI from him at the end to tag him. Really love this GFI at the end. Like, this does nothing, right? It's still a 2 plus. And you've got to punch this guy as well. This guy is in range. But obviously, he wants to, like, just stand here to uh, get in the way of it. The Dodgers power here. He's got two elves. Yeah, it gets the power right, so now he's safe. It took a lot to be completely safe there. My literally last action, but now he is completely safe. I'm getting scored on. Not fully right because you want to be able to fall back. So this is too far, probably. Probably had to hold it a little bit further out so you could retreat fully into the corner the next turn. Sucks that you can't re-roll anything. He can tag. Maybe it's both of them even. Guarantee neither of them double G firing in. Yeah. He's got a 3-2 here. He really kind of needs this one. Come out there and let him go in the corner here. Hole. Can't re-roll it though, like you literally can't. <gasps> no, heartbreak. So he just poms him and then, well, it doesn't even point right, it blitzes him and then you've got everyone too close to you, that was the problem. Didn't even stand this guy up. This guy probably should have just stood up where he was, so he's out of range of stink. Or or bracketed these two so that the beast the beast can currently double G if I have a final action. Mm. 
Doesn't do a whole lot, but it's something, right? You have to use the strength fall, there's no other choice. And he can come round here to make things a bit trickier. Yeah, Ducky, yeah, I've been pretty lucky. Been pretty lucky. Not so good that it's lasted an hour and 50 minutes in terms of, uh, you know, YouTube, uh, YouTube, YouTube viewers might not be, <laughs> might be a bit perturbed by an hour and 50, to, but you know, they can watch it on double speed or something, but it's been a fun, fun game, fun stream, I think. Oh, he splits the wrong guy. Oh, oh, flip me. <laughs> oh, he puts the wrong guy. I think you have to blitz him, right? Because you have to have people down. You have to have people down here, I think. I guess if he powers him, but he sidestep, right? So, uh, so this push. I mean, it was the right one. No, because you could push him up. I like pushing him up. Maybe that was the right one, eh? And then you, if you power him, you get, you get both of these in here. Like, if you power him, you do get both warriors down, which is actually really good. And then you can tentacles him, but he's in the way. So you could have then got both people away and tentacles him. Like, tentaclesing him is really good, actually. But he's blocked his path. Right, he, had to, he had to not block his path with the beast. That was the biggest thing. That's the biggest mistake he's done. Was uh, I mean, okay, he also didn't he didn't power anywhere, right? But if he powed, if he powed, then the the beast could have uh, and the beast could have still just dodged now anyway, right? The beast could have still just dodged, double GFI'd, and gone there. Like you've got to try that. <laughs> hey, very good, Dabuma, very good. But yeah, now it's just a two plus with a reroll and. Uh, you know, he's got a 5 plus in to hit him. You can even blitz the edge fella, can't you? You can even uh, you can go there, dodge away, blitz him, dodge away again. I mean, of course, he can, Augmented Beer can still lose this, right? He can still lose. Funny, though, because <laughs> if he'd made those two GFIs, he'd have been 70% to win, and now he's ended up being 68% to win. <laughs> uh, slightly less, though, eh? because there's a chance. There's a chance, like, to... Uh... Oh, this is... Oh, this is probably... Ooh. That was maybe a mistake putting that guy in there, right? Because if he had failed that dodge away, he could have filled in these squares and uh, chained him into there. Whew. Whew. <laughs> no, no. Well, that's the thing. Like, it wasn't a duck mentality, right? He really, he really tried a ballsy play up here. It was a really cool play up here he tried. Instantly, whereas I would have just, I would have switched to the Daka at that point when he tried that. Uh, I mean, can he? he it's really like <laughs> just go for the six plus dodge. I mean, if he's six plus dodging there, you might as well six plus dodge to here. Didn't say it was likely. <laughs> yeah, that 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 
reroll was so horrendous, wasn't it? But then, you know, would Augmented Beard have tried to hold out for kicks if he didn't have the plus one to it? Maybe not. So then, you know, you can't say that if he loses on kicks here, Coach Keith, that's what it was because if Augmented Beard wasn't ahead on rerolls, maybe he just tries to score and then maybe that would have been higher odds or whatever and maybe he would have just scored earlier. Uh, he can split with this guy. He's edge two, so you can split with this guy. Don't make blocks first because you need to react to score. That was not what I had anything but this block. Literally anything. Like, you have to five plus in and two D, so do that first. <laughs> and then, if anything, you free this guy so you can pick it up with extra arms and, and show sure hands. So, yeah. That was, uh, that was pretty bad. So no, you just you just dodge in now, right? You five plus to two D. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Chalice nerves, yeah. Chalice nerves. As much as people take the piss out of chalice nerves, definitely a real thing. Like, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> you know, like, the games mean something to people, doesn't it, you know? Like, the games mean something to people, otherwise you wouldn't play them. And then... Everybody gets, uh... <laughs> right? <laughs> the money is hardly anything, is it? But, you know, it's very, very nice of, uh... Of... DLA Piper, but no one's going to be retiring off it, is there? You know, whereas, like, footballers... Wow, no way, you can't do that. I guess it doesn't, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just, well, it does, yeah, it makes recovery possibly harder. Yeah, this was terrible. This was totally terrible. There's just literally no reason to hit him. Because he goes there to make that dodge in harder, or he goes here. In fact, he's, he's gone the wrong way, right? You go there to make the dodge around this way harder, so he hits you here, so you sidestep to here. Because if you sidestep to here then it could sidestep to him and it could go out to him. Oh, but then he's got catch, he's got catch. So no, this is better because there's more chance you catch it. This was the right, this was the right sidestep. So this way, there's more chance of it going to him and he catches it directly. So yeah, this was the correct sidestep. That was a GFI. Well, it wasn't a GFI to go around the other way. No, it wasn't one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it wasn't. He's hit, hit the wrong fella. He's blitzed the wrong fella. Okay. Kill, kill, kill. Murder kill. <laughs> Hello. Here we go. Beast and Urgle with the first kick. Easy. Throwing, interesting interpretation of kicks. Man, I really hate that the high elves throw it instead of kicking it. Yeah, I really do hate that. Kick from the warrior, easy. Yep, high elves just refusing yeah. to kick. Lobs it straight through. Whoa. I mean, if Keith misses, he's lost, isn't he? It's all on Keith. Coach Keith. Ooh. Gets it. Can the high elf match it? He does. Ooh. Another warrior, edge two. Oh, nails it. Nails it. Oh, it's a lineman, he looks nervous. Not a problem. Oh, <laughs> four, four, flip me. <laughs> Are we at the beastmen now? No, still a warrior, another warrior. 
Nails it again, flip me. Flip me. With every kick that Coach Keith scores, it makes augmented beards counter less likely. He does it though, flip me. Flip me. It's 5-5. Five, five. Now we're on a Pestigore. Oh, he spooned it. Unbelievable. Never trust a guy with hooves to do the kick. Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous. And, yep, so there you go. Keith rolled a five and uh, Beard rolled a six. Unbelievable. So, I mean, he rolled about that, you know, nearly the highest he could roll, right? He would have, he would have been... Uh, 50-50 to win. So there you go. That was that was a hell of a match, wasn't it? Hell of a match. Shame that uh, the kicks crash, crash the thing. So if you bear with me, I shall get to the uh, results page here. Okay, and it's not it's not <laughs> it's not been confirmed yet. So we can't see the post screen uh, the post game screen, but you know, trust me <laughs> Trust me that the uh, that the Nurgle won that. No the, the Nurgle didn't win it. The Nurgle didn't win it. It's over. The High Elves won. The Nurgle's lost it because the Pestigore missed his kick. <laughs> The uh, high elves won, but yeah, I mean he had to go for the he had to go for the ball sack right in the last turn, and he had to go for the uh, the re like he had not like the, the the final turn twenty four was really bad. The using his reroll was really bad as well. Um, even though he got away with it in the end, well, don't, not got away with it, it didn't matter in the end because he rolled a five and Beard rolled a six. But uh, you know, great game, wasn't it? Great game, lasted long, long time, it ebbs and flows. Really back and forth, it was amazing. Yeah, I misspoke. I did misspeak there when I said that, so it worked out fantastically. Um, but yeah, great match, great match. Same shame we can't see the results screen and the uh, and everything. But there you go. You know that's Blood Bowl two, right? As bad as Blood Bowl three is, uh, Blood Bowl two still has loads of bugs and everything. Here we go. Here's the final screen. Thirty five AV breaks didn't win the game, and having fifteen players really helped, didn't it? For for equity shift there, they took five cars, nine kills, and still had those two players left on the pitch to uh, to get the win. So there you go. Uh, well, to get to kicks and then the win. Amazing, amazing game. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Glorious. No, I won't oh, give in legend. until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. And uh, yeah, I'd say Beard played better. I mean, really played better now. <laughs> now, now, now. Now that he's subscribed, I can safely say that Augmented Beard played the pants off of Coach Keith there. Absolute, you know, sublime play. What a hero. My personal hero. Glorious victory for the High Elves. <laughs> but no, yeah, it was... was uh... <laughs> <laughs> there you go and uh <laughs> thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic